Hey guys, salut mes amis, ok, hallo gabar. Valve dropped a bit of a bombshell of a tweet about movement in Counter-Strike. Everybody loves talking about movement, so when it comes from Valve, oof, it's impossible not to get sucked in. Let's talk about it in this video right after Skins Monkey. Skins Monkey is an automated service that lets you trade skins instantly for a fee, sign up now, and get up to $5 bonus. Simply add items from your inventory, then find skins that matches your current balance. Site offers live support 24-7. You can also top up your balance if you're missing a few dollars, and there's a lot of skins to choose from. Visit my link down below to get to Skins Monkey. Now, it's no secret that Valve is hell-bent on perfecting the movement. They whipped up an update on June 6 with a couple of spicy patch notes that caught everyone's attention. Yet, even with that I, along with a couple of others, still felt a bit of a disconnect with the movement when held up against good old CSGO. This tweet of theirs was essentially fired off in response to that. There were plenty of us, myself included, who couldn't help but think the movement was a step down. And they heard us. Just to clarify, this tweet came out showcasing a newer build of CS2, and as I'm making this video, I'm still not able to try it out. It hasn't been released yet. For any goofballs wondering how I managed to figure that out, you can see the version of the game down at the bottom and the date. Here's the version we have today. So just for fun, I managed to snag a bit of a macro movement on the old build to stack it up against the CSGO. Now, since every cheap macro out there seems to be having problems repeating a perfect playback, I had to capture just the beginning, but from the footage, you can clearly see things aren't too bad, at least from this tiny movement. But the silver lining here is that Valve, with their own footage, confirmed that things feel the same now, at least when it comes to counter strafing and jiggle peeking. Gone are those skepticisms, and that's good. But in my humble opinion, I don't think a ton of people were up in arms about jiggle peeking or counter strafing in the first place. Those weren't really the main points of contention. The crux of the issue with movement in Counter-Strike 2 was never really the x-axis, but it comes to light when you're crouching and jumping around. I've mentioned before that movement doesn't feel as consistent and responsive, but okay, maybe that wasn't a good way of describing it. A better way of saying it would be, I feel like a sumo wrestler in CS2. Just jumping and crouching feels like trudging through a swamp. It's not good. Here's me goofing around in CS2. You'll notice sometimes when jumping or crouching or just going over small ledges that my player model has gained some weight. I also highlighted how it feels totally different when doing the van jump, which I can pull off consistently in CSGO back to back, but in CS2 it feels like trying to perform a miracle. Also I've heard people talk about this being some kind of a pixel jump, doesn't really matter to be honest, it shows my point pretty clearly. Now like I said, I'm still patiently waiting for the update or version that they're playing on to see if they've changed how it feels in regards to that matter. But the real takeaway from this tweet is pretty clear, they're reassuring us that they're keeping things the same. It's their end game and that is very comforting and good news. This means it will take as many attempts possible to get it working and feeling the same. At least I hope so because they did just point out counter strafing and jiggle peeking, but I would assume they'd match every other aspect of movement as well for that matter. Okay, it's starting to feel like I'm overthinking this, so I'll just stop there. I'm crossing my fingers that Valve can get their act together and fix, adjust, or optimize whatever term fits the bill. The issues we're currently facing with the vertical mechanics and CS2, but this is still absolutely a good step in the right direction. Do you like that they're trying to match the movement with CSGO's movement, or would you prefer new movement, quote unquote, better movement, or just the movement in 1.6? Honestly, when people talk about 1.6 and the game having better movement, they don't know what they're talking about most of the time. They can definitely feel it being better, but they can't really pinpoint why. The reason why movement in 1.6 feels better is simply because it is more responsive. 1.6 at 240 FPS after testing it landed at 8 milliseconds of input delay using an LDAT. So even when running CSGO at 1000 FPS, you'd only get around 11.9 milliseconds of input, which is why 1.6 feels more responsive. And yes, you get less input delay in CSGO by increasing your FPS and using a higher refresh rate monitor. But that's pretty obvious. Take care, guys. Peace.